everybody, what's going on? It's JB here uh, with a video, a little video, obviously to preview tomorrow's big uh, tomorrow's match live. We'll, we'll be commentating on between Brighton and Burnley. And I also want to debate why Pep Guardiola doesn't deserve to win manager of the month for the third time, even despite the fact that Manchester City are, uh, are fifth, have won 15 out of 15 games, which I said, I'll, I'll say this at the start, I'm not knocking it. But first, I'm going to preview the Burnley game. This is a good one for Burnley to go into. Brighton is not an easy place to go, although they've just been shoved 5-1 at the Amex uh, the other week but um, by Liverpool. But uh, having said that, though, it's a, it's a tough one to call. I think we'll, I think, I, um, I think we'll make a, I think we'll win the game. I think we'll nick it 1-0. But I would expect Brighton to give us a, a good examination, a good test. Uh, we, but we're confident that we've won twice on the South Coast already. And this it will be a tough test. But I would expect Ben Mee and Stephen Wall to be possibly back in contention. Um, you know, I think the, as well as Kevin Long's played, I think we'll be happy to get um, Ben back into the team. Not just for his defensive qualities, but for his leadership qualities. Jack Cork's done magnificently too, but we need Ben back in the team for that re for, for the reasons that I've stated. Uh, Brighton won't be an easy uh, sign, and of course I call it the Justice Derby because two years ago we had a goal wrongfully disallowed when the ball clearly across the line, about six yards over, and Eisman didn't give it. And commentator Phil Bird said Justice won. Michael Keane equalised about a minute later, so. Mm -hmm. It's the Justice Derby, and that's nothing against Brighton because they deserve to get into the Premier League. They've done really well the last two or three years to even get within an ace of getting there, and they've done a terrific job. And uh, I hope they stay in the Premier League because they're a very good, they're a decent, well run club like ourselves. And uh, so I've got no malice at all with Brighton and Old Albion whatsoever. But it will be a tough test for us tomorrow, I can assure you that. Now, my other, my other comment before I leave today, it's a quick video, but I'm going to make my feelings. Um, perfectly clear on this is that the fact that Pep Guardiola has somehow managed to reg arts manager in a month for the third successive year season, the first successive month. Now, normally I haven't got a problem with that, but for partic this particular month, I do have a big problem because Sean Dyche, and I'm going to be probably. I'm going to be totally listen. I'm not here to knock City's achievements. I mean, to win 15 games on the spin at the start of the season is a, uh, a feat that will not be achieved in anybody's lifetime and all that. Not knocking it at all. But think of what what upsets me is, why does he get the recognition, Guardiola, and not Deitch? Here's a few comparisons to chuck in. Pep Guardiola has the best talent possibly in the world at his disposal and the biggest one of the biggest budgets in the world. With a Sean Deitch, he has a team of workers that work hard Work out as a team. There's no single star that shines out. They all work as a team from the old one to eleven. They get results, right? Okay, they don't play attractive football like Man City do. They, we haven't got the quality. But for uh, but for Sean Dyche to be shunned in that fashion by the Premier League and to be overlooked for actually being the manager of the month despite being nominated, I think is a disgrace. Because he operates on probably eight times left the budget, less the budget that Guardiola's got. He works day in day out with the players he's got at his disposal. He doesn't moan and groan like Guardiola or Mourinho or Klopp does. He gets on with the job. He does a lot of things behind the scenes. He's transformed Burnley from an all Saran who was struggling. Well, we were struggling at the bottom end of the championship. He's turned us into a Premier League force. I mean. We're probably about three wins away from being a Premier League club for the third year in a full fucking row, for heaven's sake. We're in joint fourth place. And we haven't been like, as high as that since 1975. So for the Premier League to shun him in favour of Pep Guardiola, stinks. Pep Guardiola, he, he's had it easy in his managing career. He was given a Barcelona team with Messi and Neymar and a few other players in it. And uh, they just... Won everything by sundry. He had the same pr sort of thing by Munich. He had a very good team and they won the league by streets. Uh, and he's got, he's had a massive budget at Manchester City. I'd like to see, right, he's not a true manager, right? He's been given all these big budgets and massive names to work with. And 
I'll be honest with you, one of my aunties could have could do to do that and win trophies with them squads. I'd like to see him come to a Burnley or a Huddersfield or whatever with no, practically no budget and see if he can achieve something on that, on a shoestring. I'd like to see him try. He's not a super manager. He's not actually a good manager. Unless he's achieved something properly on a budget, then I don't think you can call him a class manager. And not only that, he has about 50,000 bloody staff on his bench. Well, Sean Dutch has only got four. He's got Billy Mercer, the goalkeeping coach, Tony Lochran, Ian Warren, his assistant, and Sean Dutch himself. Close with community. City can have all these silly coaches and all that, but but it's not, but, you know, but Pep Guardiola just doesn't deserve it because he doesn't do, he doesn't work hard enough for me. And he gets, I think he gets overpaid as well as a manager. Again, I'm not trying to knock City in the achievement because they play some pretty, really nice, pretty football. But I am fed up of seeing Pep Guardiola win manager of the month every other bloody month. OK, they're, they're top of the table. There's a reason why. But I'm sick of it. Why are other managers being shunned in favour of this git? Right? The Premier League, you need to take a good, hard fucking look in the mirror. Because if this is how you're promoting the Premier League by being Pep Guardiola... I'm mean, a Pep Guardiola loving, then you've got to be sadly mistaken. Credit people like Sean Dutch, who work for their clubs day in, day out, without complaint, without having to be, you know, they don't want millions and millions of pounds. Sean Dutch doesn't earn millions and millions of pounds where he is. He's happy to be in a job at a club that is a perfect fit for him. I'm sorry, but Pep Guardiola is nobody. I'll tell you what, you put him at a Huddersfield. He wouldn't, sorry, but he wouldn't cop it, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I think he's a fake manager. Same could apply for Mourinho. Same could apply possibly to Klopp. And Veng, Wenger, perhaps. You know, these super managers, they've got very big budgets and very good squads at their disposal. They complain when it's fixture power. You don't see people like Sean Dyche complaining. This is why I'm sick to death of the Premier League being such a double standard league. I think Dash deserved that manager in a month more than Pep Guardiola did. As I said, not knocking City's achievements, but I am sick to the back teeth of Pep Guardiola getting everything he's under it. I'm sorry, but Sean Dash should have had the award. I am sick to death of Pep Guardiola's smug arsehole face. And do you know what would be wonderful? We've drawn him away in the cup. It would be fucking justice if we fucking went there in the FA Cup and knocked him out in the fucking third round. Met my fucking year, that would. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you. Yeah, I, I don't want to. Uh, by the way, I'm not here to upset Manchester City fans. I'm not here to belittle their achievements because what they've done is magnificent. But your manager is not as good as you think he is. Because I tell you what, if you put him at a Burnley or a Huddersfield or Brighton, or even a Crystal Palace, he would struggle. He would honestly struggle. I don't care what Man City fans think. I don't want to belittle your team, but that's my opinion. Uh, respect it. You can criticise it constructively by all means, but don't say I'm a dickhead or anything like that, because I won't tolerate it, and you will be thrown off YouTube. But I am very, very pissed off that Sean Dyche has not even got manager of the month. For what he's achieved on a small budget at Burnley, it stinks. Anyway, take care. See you tomorrow for the commentary of Brighton Burnley. I'll see you later.